The Israeli military has released footage that they say shows Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar underground in Gaza during the war. Israel says the footage was taken on October 10th, but was just recently discovered by the Israeli army in Gaza. According to the military, Israel's most wanted man is seen here in a tunnel in Khan Yunis, along with his children and one of his wives. For the latest, let's go live to NBC News foreign correspondent Chapman Bell. Hi, Chapman. Good morning. How sure are we that this, in fact, is the Hamas leader? Good morning, Francis. Yeah, Israel's defense forces releasing this footage, they say, was taken from a Hamas security camera and shows the leader of Hamas in Gaza, Sinwar, in a tunnel with his family under uh, Khan Yunis, uh, taken on October 10th, just days after the Hamas attack on Israel. And while NBC News can't verify the location of the video and it gives no information on Sinwar's current location or status, a former Israeli intelligence officer who spent more than 180 hours interrogating Sinwar says he has no doubt it's him, based on things like the way he walks and the shape of his ears. Another uh, former intelligence officer who was shown the footage by NBC News also agrees with this assessment. Sinwar, of course, a big target for Israel, and a bit of background on him. He spent more than 20 years in Israeli prison for murder. He was released along with more than a thousand other Palestinian prisoners in exchange for uh, IDF soldier Gilad Shalit in 2011, who had been kidnapped. And this prisoner exchange could explain Israel's reluctance to uh, release thousands of prisoners in exchange for the hostages remaining as he, of course, rose to the leadership of Hamas. Um, but Israel officials and other senior advisors have said they would consider some sort of exile, similar to that of Yasser Arafat and members of the PLO some 40 years ago, in exchange for the hostages. As these negotiations continue with no update, but uh, many countries in the international ke community keen to uh, bring some civilian respite to those in Gaza, as well as releasing those hostages and at least pausing the fighting. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.